Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip tutorial, I want to talk about object creation order. So let's uh, just jump straight into it. Okay, here I've got a scene, um, and actually the scene is pretty inconsequential, but it's going to help me show you what I mean by object creation order uh, by virtue of this hierarchy here. If I create a cube in the scene, you'll see that the cube is created here, and let's get into object mode. And you can and you see that's where it is. And you can see in our hierarchy that the cube, when it's created, it's always at the top of the sort of object ordering. I've got this uh, group at the top here, and in there I've got each room is its own uh, object in this hierarchy. And then inside of that, I've got some other groups, and inside of that, I've actually got the objects. Now, if you're anything like me, I like to work much like this, actually. I'll create stuff, I'll start grouping it together. And when I create a new object, I don't really want it at the top, to be honest. If anything, I want it down here, outside of this hierarchy, at the bottom. And that's just a personal preference for me. Uh, you might like your objects being created outside of this hierarchy at the top. Um, but for me personally, I always, when I create something, I always drag it to the bottom um, because it's just, I know that everything above it I can fold up and the, the new thing that I'm working on is here. And if I need to move it into the hierarchy at any point, I can do. Um, so instead of me having to move the cube down there every single time, you can actually make sure that Cinema 4D creates objects where you want it in the object list. And we do that by going to Edit, Preferences, and then inside Preferences, if you go to the interface, you'll notice that down here we've got Insert insert New Object At, and it's currently set to top, which is the default setting for Cinema 4D. So I can actually change this. So we've got a few options in here. So we've got Previous. So let's, uh, let's try this. In fact, I'm just going to dock my Preferences at the side here. So we can just keep this open. So if I create a cube now, much the same thing happens, which you might think, well, it didn't really change anything. Well, it did actually. If we actually have something selected like this light blocker object, I've got it hidden at the moment, but it's actually just the outside of this. But if I select the light blocker and then create a cube, it actually puts it in front, like above the light blocker. So that's what previous does. Conversely, if you choose next, it actually creates the cube after that object. And as you can see here, and then we've got uh, some hierarchical options as well. So if you click parent, when I click the cube, it makes the cube a parent of this selected object. And the same thing when you've got child selected and something selected, it will make the newly created object a child of that object. So it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, the last one on the list is root. Now, if I select this light blocker and create a cube, you'll notice that the cube is actually a parent of this apartment object. And that's because the cube has now become the root of the entire hierarchical stack. Now, I'm actually a little bit disappointed to see that we've got top as an option, but they haven't got bottom, which is what I'm looking for. But um, at least on... Cinema 4 dr 21 this is not an option, which is really annoying. But the next best thing for me is next. Um, so I can at least select an object and create, and then it's created sort of at the bottom. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. You'll also notice that uh, underneath this, we've got paste new object at, which is basically exactly the same options as this insert new object, but it does it for copied objects. So I'm going to set this to my preference, which would be next. And if I uh, if I copy this, in fact, what I'll do is I'll leave that at its default setting. In fact, you can make sure that's the default by saying reset to default. And if I make a copy of this, so control C and then control V, you can notice that it pastes it at the top. Um, but if I change it to the next, which is my preferred uh, method and press Control C, Control V. You can see that's created underneath. Um, and also, this is something that I'd actually prefer if I go to a new project and create a cube. Uh, if this is set to top, and you create a cube, Control C, and then just keep pressing Control V, you can see that these cubes are created 
one, two, three, four, sort of backwards. Um, whereas, let's reverse that, uh, control Z. If I change this to next, which is my preferred option, and I do the same thing, it makes sense that these cubes are created in order, uh, in numerical order, in the way that you'd expect as well. So anyway, guys, that's uh, just a quick tip that I wanted to go over. I hope that helps someone, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.